Tonight we got the new Boilermakers. It'll be a great challenge for us. We know they're going to come out physical. Uh, they really like the fan to get in you. Really try to push you around, so we're going to have to come out and be the tougher team. So, you know, we got to be strong with the ball, you know, stay tough throughout the course, uh, throughout the course of the game and, and really make plays. And that's exactly what Penn State did. And that's not a surprise to anyone who knows anything about Coach Ed DeCellis. His players know how he always harps on the importance of the first four minutes of a game. It's hard to imagine the Nittany Lions playing any better than they did those first four minutes against 14th ranked Purdue. So Purdue still has not scored. Pringle down the far sideline, Pringle into the front court, pulls up for two, top of the key and gone. Pringle hits another one. It is 14 to nothing. Good again, 17-2. They have nine to shoot. To his right, Cornley at the elbow, leans, shoots, scores, 19-4. It's 21-7 Penn State. Dipped in by Andrew Watt. Fresh 35 to work with as battle starts out mid-court circle. Bounce pass far wing, Pringle. Battle near wing three-pointer gone. Steve, that was it. It was just the speed broke down the whole defense that time. They had to run two at Stanley. They are playing together like they played together all their lives. They just look terrific tonight as they have much of the season. It's funny how easy basketball looks the harder you work. And these Nittany Lions were holding nothing back. Desire and determination oozed from every pore, better known as sweat. A tribute to Coach DeCellis and his staff. Penn State built up several 15-point leads, stunning the Boilermakers, who weren't ready for their intensity. The Lions' work ethic was perhaps most evident on the glass, where they hustled and positioned themselves for a dominating night rebounding. Little leader doesn't go. Again, it is Jones on the glass. Boy, Jones is just killing them on the boards. More right-hand floater, rolls off no good, rebound, they battle, and Pringle takes it away. Pringle straight up the middle, near corner, Morrissey for three, and no good, rebound, Jones. Of course. <laughs> Back outside for Pringle, Jones with nine rebounds. Morrissey wants to try it again, he drives the baseline, lays it up right hand and gone. Yeah, nice move by Danny, they ran hard at him, and he just put the ball on the floor. Matt Painter's got to call a timeout, because they have not gotten any handle on Penn State's offense. I thought we needed to set you know, a tempo, a tone here this evening and uh, challenged our kids to do that. And I think they came out with the flurry and um, played well to start the game. They just dominated us on the glass. I mean, they got, you know, four or five offensive rebounds and I think one of the first couple possessions. And, and, you know, you have to be hooked up and ready to rebound the basketball. And uh, we were not. But I thought after that blitz, um, our guys did some very good things out there. Basketball is a game of runs and mini runs, and even with the big early lead, the Nittany Lions knew Purdue didn't get to the number 14 spot in the country by rolling over. Penn State did their best to weather the storm as the Boilermakers battled back, finishing the first half and starting the second half strongly. It took until there were less than 12 minutes to play, but they finally had their first lead. Now Pringle on the baseline, can't get it to go, Chalice on the rebound. Purdue could take the lead. They have never led in this game. Moore hanging in it. And then Purdue's in front, 50 to 49. Tough squad will not give up, and they didn't. That's a three. Purdue playing on that magic level right now. Everything's going their way. Penn State's challenge was to change that, and they would, through strategy and execution as well as confidence. The Nittany Lions were in the middle of a stretch of six games in which they would play four ranked opponents. They are a battle-tested team. Purdue by fourth battle between the circles. Morrissey pops out near wing. His three-pointer, gone! Yeah, there we go. Two-three zone, 55-54. Purdue by one, 9.46 left. Loose ball, Pringle steals. Runs with battle, ahead for Taylor. Taylor to the bucket, foul Taylor before got... the shot. Here's battle now trying to tie the game. Up, and that one is good. Game tied at 55. Far wing more. Grant straight on three. In and out. Rebound batted. Out of bounds off of Johnson. It's Penn State ball. Now the Nitty Lions look to go back in front. Gets the ball in a good spot, like right there. And whistle and a foul on Collison. He'll shoot one and one. 14 of his last 19 coming in. 
A little bit better than 70%. Front end. Killer. Long rebound. Jones. Of Jones in the lane. Lays it up course. and in. And one. The basket counts and a foul. And the Nittany Lions take the lead. Andrew Jones has been an absolute wild man. He's got 10 rebounds, uh, eight of them on the offensive glass tonight. I think I'm more proud of our kids' second half. We got down and was able to withstand it and came back and, and made some plays to win the game. I, I think as I told him, it's really, really proud of him for that. Never time out, never really got excited. And uh, uh, I think that's a, a thing against a good sign. It was Penn State's second straight win against a top 25 team. And in fact, they have now split their last six games against ranked opponents, proving to everyone else what they already know, that they can play with anyone. That's it. Nittany Lions win it. They knock off 14th ranked Purdue, 67 64, to go to 13 3 overall and 2 1 in the Big Ten.